Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. So we are going to be doing another learning Italian. We are on lesson nine of grammar. So let's do it. Okay, so we have qualche and alcuni or alcune. Qualche means some and is unchangeable. It comes only before nouns in uh, probably plural because you have some, you know, like some bananas. You have some oranges. You have some couches. You have some computers. So, yeah, plural. Really? It's singular. I've seen some thrillers. Oh, but maybe the Italian is... Okay. Before nouns in blank, you use alcuni or alcune to express some, which is your plural. I didn't like some actors in the film. Okay, so... Okay. I think I'm understanding a little bit more. Choose qualche or alcuni or alcune. Questo regista ha girato qualche poliziesco. Ha girato qualche poliziesco. Uh, alcuni, this is going to end up being, polizieschi non mi piacciono. Alcuni polizieschi non mi piacciono. Ho avuto idee per il lavoro. <sighs> alcune. Ho avuto alcune idee per il lavoro. I kind of looked down at the translation to get an idea. Because you have some ideas for the work. So it's like you have a plural and a singular, typically, is what I'm, I'm noticing. Penso di aver dimenticato blank cose. I've forgotten some things. This would probably be qualche. Damn. Penso di aver dimenticato alcune cose. Oh, cose is the plural, okay. Ho comprato uh, alcuni libri per estate. Ho comprato alcuni libri per l'estate. But I'm noticing, like, some books for the summer. You know, it's the books is the plural, the summer is the singular. La mia ragazza conosce uh, qualche classico del cinema italiano. I guess that doesn't work because now it's some classics of Italian cinema. So much for my idea. You use alcuni before plural masculine nouns and alcune before feminine nouns to express the concept of some. So it would be... Uh, uh, is my key oh, my keyboard's off. My niece was playing with it earlier, so I turned it off. So she could have as many keys as her little heart desired. Alcune. Alcune scene del film non mi sono piaciute. Alcuni. Add qualche or alcune. Or, or alcuni. Avete. Uh, alcune. Idee per il lavoro. Avete alcune idee per il lavoro? Alright. Tra uh, qualche giorno facciamo il trasloco. Tra qualche giorno facciamo il trasloco. Potete venire a... Uh, let me think. This is probably alcuni... Yep. Potete venire alcuni giorni da me? Alright, so this is alcuni uh, attori del film non mi sono piaciuti. Alcuni attori del film non mi sono piaciuti. Mi piace qualche regista italiano. Mi piace qualche regista. Huh, regista is director. 
vi siete dimenticati uh, alcune cose a casa. Vi siete dimenticati alcune cose a casa. Correct my mistakes. So it was singular. Ho visto qualche poliziesco. Okay. Alcuni attori del film non mi sono What was my other mistake? Ah, it was uh, alcune, because cose was plural, so that's right. Alright, cool. Uh, I guess next is whatever the next like course is, and we'll start lesson one of that. Okay, so it is pronouns, it looks like. So we will do lesson one of pronouns, which is subject pronouns. The subject of a sentence is the person or thing doing the action so you can replace the subject with the subject pronoun I'm gonna guess since that's what we're learning okay so having said that Italian subject pronouns are usually dropped yep because there's no io abito so why? Because you can tell who's doing what from the ending. Uh, I'm gonna look at the line, it's short, so I'm gonna say verb ending. Does that mean subject pronouns are never used? Wow, look at that. That's the first time we've only seen one option. No, of course not. Okay. So four passengers meet on the main to tr on the train to Milan. Uh, it said two. I heard it. Io sono di Milano. Anche voi? Anche voi? No, noi siamo di Roma. Noi siamo di Roma. Invece è della provincia di Palermo. I heard the Louis. So this is easy. It's just whatever you hear. We'll go through it later and read. Anzi, lei è di Bagheria, vicino Palermo. Davvero? Anch'io sono di Bagheria. Lei si chiama Veronica Ri. Okay, so now let's go through this slower. E tu di dove sei? So, mm, you know, and you, where are you from? Io sono di Milano, anche voi, I'm from Milan. You, speaking to all of them, because it's plural. Tu? So, you two? Uh, no, noi siamo di Roma, no, we're from Rome. Lui invece è della provincia di Palermo, but he's from the province of Palermo. Ah, anche la mia ragazza è di Palermo. Ah, my girlfriend's from Palermo too. Anzi, le è di Bagheria, vicino a Palermo. Actually, she's from Bagheria, near Palermo. Davvero? Anche io sono di Bagheria. Really? I'm from Bulgaria too. Le si chiama Veronica Rizzi. Her name is Veronica Rizzi. No, non ti credo. Ma è mia cugina. No, I don't believe it. No way, I don't believe it. That's my cousin. In American, that'd be, for real? It's my cousin. So, when should you use Italian? subject pronouns to emphasize the subject like when you make a comparison no, noi siamo di Roma. Lui è della di if your sentence contains words like anche which is to or invece meanwhile sono di when the sentence uh, I'm gonna say doesn't contain a verb. Sono di Milano. E voi? Io, tu, lui, lei. Noi, voi, loro. Learn the subject pronouns. Yeah. I, so like me. To, you, uh, that's him. Lowercase is her. The uppercase is a formal. That can be applied to a man or woman. Uh, noi is us, or we. Um, voi is you, plural, so you all. Loro is they. 
Hi. Io. Uh, you singular. So then it would be, uh, he. And then the next is going to be she or you, just like I said, but it's formal. Lei. Uh, noi, which is we. Noi. You, plural. Voi. And they. Loro. So, this is some of the stuff that you will learn in, like, an intro Italian class. That stuff you learn. And, you know, one of the first couple lessons. Io sono Enrica. Piacere. So, io sono Enrica. Piacere. So, I'm Enrica. It's pleased to meet you. So, if you ever go to Italy and you're introduced to someone, piacere. You know, you shake their hand. Well, also over there they do, like, the... When you're, like, friendly with someone, you do the kiss and kiss on the cheeks. Or, like, touch cheeks or whatever. So, um, but if you're just meeting them, you'd probably just shake their hand. But yeah, it's, it's piacere. Prendi anche tu un caffè? Uh, tu. Will you have a coffee too? Io sono di Padova, lui invece è di Mantova. Lui? Io sono di Padova, lui invece è di Mantova. I'm from Padua, but he's from Mantua. Ecco, lei e Sandra. Ecco, lei e Sandra. So she is Sandra. Here, this. Uh, you know, she is Sandra. It says lit. I'm trying to think what that is. Because, I don't know what that would be. Because it's clearly not formal. You're not referring to someone as a formal, like a professor or something. This is, um, what would be the opposite of formal then? What, what would be the opposite, you know, of formal, whatever lit is? This, I believe, is the uppercase. Ha! Huh. And what is your name in the formal? Marta va al concerto, ma noi restiamo a casa. Ooh, that is not how you spell that. There it is. They may have given it to me as like a typo, but I, I don't know for a fact. Marta va al concerto, ma noi restiamo a casa. Marta is going to the concert, but... We're staying home. E voi, chi and you all, like the plural, uh, what do you do for a living? Okay. Valeria e Caterina sono loro. Uh, Valeria and Caterina, that's them. It says lit they again. Because you think formal, like casual, would be the um, opposite of it. But I don't know what L A T is. Uh, this is him, Louis. Louis. That is they. But if they don't give you any context, like if they just had you type out options, that could be. Uh, noi, that could be us, that could be you all, if I'm looking at them. So, it's they. Uh, see, like right here, voi. It's just a group of people. So, if they don't give you any context and they don't give you any options, then it could actually be multiple answers in a situation like that. Uh... Since you're, you don't look like a guy, I'm gonna say two. It's you. Uh, this is a very nice lady, so it is Lei. Um, since that's probably not they, I'm gonna say it's Io. Io. 
they're pointing at each other, so I would say us. Four passengers on the train to Milan again. Wait, is this the same thing we just did? Io sono di Milano. Anche voi. Didn't we just do this? Io sono di Milano. Anche voi? Yeah, this is like the exact same thing. No, noi siamo di Roma. Uh, Lui. Lui invece è della provincia di Palermo. Ah, anche la mia ragazza è di Palermo. Anzi, lei è di Bagheria, vicino a Palermo. Why are they having me do this again? Anch'io. Davvero? Anch'io sono di Bagheria. Uh, lei si chiama. Lei si chiama Veronica Ri. I'm not reading this. Non ci credo. Ma mia cugina. I'm not reading that again. I already have. You did it. You finished the first lesson of our grammar course. Sei grande si proprio tu. Sei grande si proprio tu. Uh, non vedo l'ora. While you're on a roll, why not take a look at some more grammar lessons? I can't wait. Non vedo l'ora. That is it. And I have hit the 15 minute mark. Actually, I'm, you know, long past it. So if you guys did enjoy this, please leave a like. And your channel, please hit the subscribe button. Turn notifications on. See all you guys next video. Later. Make yourself some friends or you'll be lonely Once I was seven years